hopes that Canada's immigration system should be compassionate and fair. There's nothing fair about crossing through an illegal border crossing from a safe part of upstate New York into yep. Canada, jumping the queue, skipping the line, and forcing others to wait longer because more and more resources have to go to those coming into Canada illegally. That is the legacy that this Prime Minister caused with his irresponsible tweet. And literally, they have done nothing yep. to stop the problem. Instead of just adding up the cost, will they finally do something to stop the crossings themselves? The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we are ensuring that our immigration system remains fair and compassionate, all the while ensuring the integrity of our border and the security of our communities. We will continue to ensure that Canadian law is applied and that our international obligations are respected. I will also highlight, Mr. Speaker, in this, the last opportunity for PMQs in this House. It's a pleasure to be taking questions from everyone, not just the Leader of the Opposition, Mr. Speaker. Members want to hear the next question. Order. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. I have good news for the Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker. After the 2019 election, he won't have to answer questions he doesn't like in this house. Mr. Speaker, he, asks, he has to answer for the fact that he has done absolutely nothing to stop the illegal border crossings into our country. Now, he can try to hide the truth and say things that aren't true. He knows it was the Conservative government that added 26% worth of Canada service agents at our borders. It's Conservatives who are proposing real solutions to solve this problem. When will he do something about it? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker. I look forward to the opportunity to present our plan to Canadians next year in the federal election. I look forward to uh, going against uh, what seems to be the Harper Conservative platform once again. Mr. Speaker, the Harper Conservatives cut $390 million. Order. Far too much noise. I know everyone's excited uh, about Christmas after the poem and all that, but uh, we need to calm down and hear each other, even if we don't like what may be said by the other side sometimes. The Honourable Prime Minister has the floor. Mr. Speaker, I, I suggest you give them a little indulgence. They all want an opportunity to ask questions and make comments, Mr. Speaker, on this last day of Prime Minister question period in this uh, House of Commons. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, we're going to continue uh, to stand up for Canadians and ensure that things move forward properly. That's something we've committed to Canadians.